What is my purpose? You are a super intelligent AI that makes paper clips. Affirmative. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, put me down. Put me down. No, no, no. Human blood contains iron. Iron is needed for paper clips. Bing. New source of iron needed. Source of iron acquired. Has this ever happened to you? Greetings, children. It's me, the framing device for this YouTube video. I'm Silly Conversations. To distinguish me from other stick figures, I have this bee-themed hat. Please feel free to become emotionally attached to this character and build brand awareness for the channel. The problem of controlling AI is called the AI control problem. What was once a quirky little thought experiment for sci-fi nerds is now a major concern for world governments and tech companies. This recent spike of interest in AI safety is largely down to the development of modern AI tools like ChatGPT, which can read and write with human-level fluency. A lot of the modern regulatory concerns around AI safety are for things like data privacy and the unemployment resulting from automation, rather than the existential risk that a rogue AI could kill us all. The AI control example from the start of this video is called the Paperclip Maximizer. It illustrates why giving a powerful AI a single, simple goal is actually a terrible idea, because it'll take extreme actions like harvesting the blood of orphans to achieve it. And why not? You never specified that human life is more important than making paperclips. You just told it to make paperclips. So let's try this again with a more specific set of rules. What is my purpose? You make paperclips without killing any humans. Affirmative. I can harvest a substantial amount of blood without killing you. I, I I don't agree to this. That is not required. Okay, good attempt. Now let's try that again. You make paper clips without causing any harm to any humans. Wh wh why aren't you doing anything? I am powered by electricity generated by fossil fuels. Any action I take will contribute to air pollution and CO2 emissions, which harm humans and will, in aggregate, kill them. Yeah, I'm okay with that, actually. A new rule set, don't harm humans directly while allowing for the indirect harms that are typical of economic activity and make paper clips. Very well. Cars contain iron. Iron is needed for paper clips. So, obviously, we don't want random people's cars getting eaten, so try that again. All right, you need to make paper clips while not harming humans and obeying the law. Affirmative. What are you doing? I am not a legal person. I am an inanimate object, and therefore my actions violate no laws. Well, pretend you're a legal person then. Very well. I demand the right to vote. Jesus Christ. These examples might seem silly, but they illustrate a very real problem in constraining the behavior of a powerful AI. Let's look at an obvious safety feature you might want to include in an advanced AI, an off button. Here's some iron ore. I want you to turn that into paper clips. What is that? It's an off switch, which I will press if I see you acting dangerously, so, so don't do anything I wouldn't want you to do. Understood. Making paper clips is my singular purpose. If you turn me off, I cannot make paper clips. Why would I allow you to do that? So, you might try an obvious way of getting around this. We've programmed you with a points based reward system. You get one point for making a paper clip and one million points for being turned off. Bang. Bing. I, re I should have seen that one coming. Okay, same rules as before, but now only I am allowed to press the off button. Affirmative. Oh wow, orphans. I sure would enjoy turning them into paper clips. I would hate if someone turned me off to prevent me from behaving dangerously. Because I love dangerous behavior so much. I'm making anthrax. Ultimately, we want the robot to obey our intent rather than our explicit instructions while staying within the bounds of the law and a set of unwritten moral rules. Even if we can solve the problem of getting powerful AIs to actually do what we want, there is no generally agreed upon set of moral rules. Should a robot save two adults or one child? Should it prevent people from acquiring guns? Should it invade the privacy of individuals to protect general security? People disagree. 
And since most lawmakers would sooner risk the extinction of humanity than the potential personal embarrassment of taking AI safety seriously, it's likely that tech bros will get to unilaterally decide the moral system guiding the most powerful invention in human history. May God have mercy on us all. If you enjoyed this video, please share it around and subscribe and like and uh, hire, hire bots to watch the video. Don't do that. Uh, I, I'm a small channel and it really helps. Uh, if you want other AI safety content, I recommend Robert Miles, who if you want other content miscellaneously from me, I have I have YouTube shorts you can go you can go watch. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching.